The state of assault rifles in Fallout 4 was deplorable. Many people agreed with this statement, especially when you look at the actual assault rifle in the game it being some kind of weird water-cooled tube weapon. It didn't give you an assault rifle feel or vibe at all, and kind of left a big empty space for a lot of people. Well, today I'm here to help you fill that void by showing you guys what are, in my opinion, the top five assault rifle mods for Fallout 4 right now. Some of these mods are really old, some of these are relatively new, but basically they're just the tried and true. What I think if you had to download some assault rifle mods to spice your game up a little bit what I would recommend. I'm using the term assault rifle pretty loosely basically a rifle that is fully automatic not meant to function as like a DMR or a machine pistol. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this list fortunately everything on here is available on Xbox one as well as PC so console users especially get hyped for that. If you do enjoy the content I really encourage you guys to consider subscribing but with all that let's get right into it. So right off the bat, we don't even have a ballistic assault rifle. The alien assault rifle adds in a brand new weapon platform into Fallout 4. Taking a lot of inspiration from the alien blaster, the alien assault rifle is that reimagined in assault rifle form. And actually a little bit more than that. The mod is definitely focused around weapons that are from medium to long range, but there are shotgun and even some pistol variants that you can take advantage of using this mod. The reasons I love it is because it does have quite a few cool different effects, as well as a lot of the different blaster types are cool. You have beam effects, you have burst effects, and all around it's very different than just using normal ballistic weapons. It really gives you that unique feel that I feel like the laser weapons and just kind of other different weapons in Fallout 4 didn't really live up to. It also incorporates the alien weaponry in a more balanced way. It's not as powerful as other guns in the game and definitely is expensive to use. The ammo for this is a little bit harder to get and craft, although it does do more damage than typical ballistic weapons, so it's kind of a, a well-balanced late game option. Unfortunately, it scores really low on this list mainly because there's a few issues here and there with some of the different sound effects. I always got some lighting issues when using this and on top of that some of the different beams didn't really line up when they were coming out of the muzzle and it was abundantly obvious. Although if you could get over these this is a really strong weapon. So about two weeks ago, the Chinese assault rifle would have scored a lot higher, but with the release of Fallout 4's Nuka World DLC adding in the handmade rifle, it almost became redundant, but not quite. Both of these weapons are based on the AK platform, although the handmade rifle seems to be an AK-47, while the Chinese assault rifle seems to be the modern edition that's basically inspired by the old AK-47. Plus, the Chinese assault rifle actually has some more customizability. And of course, the nostalgia effect. If you don't know, the Chinese assault rifle was a weapon from Fallout 3. In Fallout 4, it really takes advantage of the weapon modification system. You can create basically four different style of weapons, a snubbed version, a standard version, a long version, and then my personal favorite, you also have an option for an internally suppressed barrel. What this means is although this is an assault rifle, you definitely can make it into something you really want it to be, whether that be a longer range assault rifle or a shorter range SMG almost. And on top of that, you do have some different caliber conversions, so if you have a different ammo type that you want to do more or less damage with, you can take advantage of that also. All around the weapon looks really good. It quickly became one of the most popular mods for Fallout 4, but obviously it has dropped off since Nuka World kind of made it redundant. It's still one of my personal favorites. I do like it more than the handmade rifle, but I can see how some people won't like it. Although I do know Wasteland Melody, the mod author behind this, is working on some new things that are looking pretty sweet, so stay excited for that. In the number 3 spot, we do have the SCAR LK by Doom. For a lot of people, this will be your top assault rifle. The SCAR LK has a ton going for it. It offers a ton of customizability options ranging from different scopes to different calibers, and one of my favorite things is it actually has 4 different paint jobs. Two of those are just flat colors, and it has these hex colors, which do look really nice on the gun. It includes back model, so basically you could attach it as an armor piece to walk around with the weapon on your back. And one of the things I really do like is it has the scope system, so you could basically change the magnification of different so you could change a reflex sight to have a two times zoom or a four times zoom etc it definitely doesn't embrace the weapon platform as much as the prior two on this list but i think that's okay it does what it does and it does it well you can still make it your own through some different barrels and some different magazine types and of course all the different ammo types do really help solidify it in a specific spot and all around it's just a really good weapon mod the only reason i put it at number three is because for the last two i wanted to do something a little bit more unique how many modern games Games do we play nowadays where you use the same kind of assault rifle. Although this one is probably without a doubt the best modern style assault rifle, it got a little repetitive and I wanted something a little bit different while I was playing through Fallout 4, so for the last two I did things that aren't as modern or typical. 
So at number four, we do have the defense gun. And I know a lot of people are gonna say, hey, that's not an assault rifle. But basically the way I use the gun and the way I play the game is a medium to long range rifle that is fully automatic. You can customize the weapon to be like that. And personally I have, so thus I'm dubbing it an assault rifle. And if you wanna get technical, the actual range stat is longer than that of the basic scar, okay? So yeah, I think this gun looks really good. It is without a doubt one of my favorite looking weapon mods for Fallout 4, period. Especially in the first person. I don't really mean so much as a third Third person perspective from there it looks pretty standard but when you're walking around with this gun you have the wood stock on contrasting the metal frame it just looks so good and i really love using the gun in that exact manner on top of that it's different as i was saying before it mixes things up again this is a world war one or world war two style weapon and it functions that way on top of everything else it also has a ton of different weapon mods to make it really your own you have different barrel types you could have a suppressor you could have a bayonet different stock types again ranging from metal stocks to wood stocks and most importantly different magazine types you even have some custom ones like pressure rounds and things like that just to mix it up a little bit and really make this gun more interesting than a lot of the other weapon mods out there. This is one of my favorite assault rifle mods but this is also just one of my favorite weapon mods period. I really like this gun. I feel like it fits into the Fallout 4 universe really well and it functions really good in quite a number of scenarios. So last but not least, we have the Crude Blowback. This weapon has a little bit more of a unique story behind it. Basically, it's in the concept art of Fallout 4, but was never actually added to the main game until the weapon mod did come out. The mod author based this entirely off the concept art, and if you actually compare the in-game weapon to the concept art, it's a pretty good creation of it. I think the weapon looks absolutely amazing. The blue contrast when you have a silencer and that grip on compared to like the kind of rusted or dirty metal is just absolutely amazing. From the first day I downloaded this, I just fell in love with the look of it. It's definitely not the most feature rich weapon mod. It's relatively simple in the terms of modifications. You have a few different magazine types, a few different barrels, a few different stocks. You could change between 38 and 308 rounds, but it has pretty well balanced damage and I just really love this gun. Whenever it comes time for me to do a video on a mod, like where I'm going to actually be playing something, this is my go-to weapon mod. When I played through Vault Tech, this is what I downloaded. When I played through Nuka World, this is what I downloaded. It's such a simple yet elegant mod. It fits perfectly into the Fallout 4 universe because, well, it was created by the creators of Fallout and just everything about it is so well polished and well done. I highly recommend you guys check this one out. It really is a very good weapon mod. Probably one of my favorite period. That's going to pretty much wrap it up for this video though guys. I do hope you enjoyed. Hopefully you found something at least partially useful. I'm really happy that I could say everything on this list is on Xbox. I know a lot of you Xbox users have been feeling cheated lately but fortunately you have some good assault rifle mods right? You have that going for you. As always again I thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you all next time. Later.